This is fascinating. Wait until you see what this gentleman looked like only a few years ago. His name is Marcus Rothkrantz. You are a raw food guru here in town, of course, as part of the big show, the Total Health Show, happening this weekend. We'll give information in a little bit. But we know when we hear something as drastic as a raw food diet, people think there's no way I could keep this up. I need my steak. I like warm pasta. But tell us about your experience. Again, we need to see this photo, seeing as believing. You brought in a picture of yourself some 20 years ago. This is me 20 years ago. And tell us about your state at the time. Doctor I said you were a mess inside. I was dying. My heart was giving out. My liver was clogged. My kidneys were turning to stone. I, I was literally dying. And I did, nobody, you know, doctors really don't, I hate to say this, but doctors really don't know what health is. They know how to hide symptoms. It was a 20 year journey for me to figure out how can I get from this to being alive again? And as you can see, I look a little younger now than I did back then. So uh, you, you started by saying, I'll cut out meat. Then you went vegan. And yeah. then you said, no, I, went, I, went, I went vegetarian for a while. And, and I thought, well, that's a logical thing to do. It's healthy, right? And then I, I still got sick. And then I went vegan. I still got sick. And I said, well, you know what? I, I realized that people who don't eat meat they're still eating bread, cereal, pasta, all that dead food, and that's, there's no life in that. If you take an apple, for example, okay, an apple, it, it's, it's healthy, right? This is an orange, but if you take an apple and you plant it in the ground, it, it, an apple tree grows. But if you mm. bake that apple, if you heat that apple and then plant it in the ground, nothing grows. Well, what happened? Something happened. You killed the enzymes. All enzymes in living food die above 115 degrees. And we are the only species that cooks the right. food and tampers with the nutrients. So take us through a recipe that you said you could do at home and you can grow your own garden. It doesn't have to be expensive. You wake up in the morning and you pick dandelions and you eat them, the flowers and all. Right, exactly. They are. And this is people have lost total touch with nature. Now, something is that people need to understand and go, well, I don't have time and all that. I don't either. I'm like part of the modern world. I don't have any time at all. I don't even like eating. It's like such an inconvenience. So for me, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I want to make something as fast as possible and be as nutritious as possible. So what I do is I just grab some stuff. I'll show you here. Let's do it. Um, I so can either kale. get it at the store. Uh, the, the general rule is to get stuff that because most people, they go for the sweet stuff. They go for the, like the fruit, and that's it. Well, you, that's an imbalance. It, it causes your pancreas to go into shock. You need to have greens. In nature, if you look at a tree, two-thirds of it is green stuff. Mm -hmm. If you look at horses, cows, and stuff like that, they eat greens. That's what they so graze it's on. really, and, 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 and that's the other thing about, you know, people say, well, I need my protein, I need my meat. Well, where do, anim, where do animals like uh, cows, horses, get their 2,000 pounds of muscles? Mm -hmm. They get it from grass. It's all they eat. It's grass, right? So what is a daily diet for you like? Take us through morning, noon, I really don't eat that much. The longest living people in the world barely eat. And that's something people need to understand. If you're eating good stuff, just a handful of food can make you go the whole day. Um, and it keeps you feeling full? Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't crave them. Yesterday I flew in from Vegas and I haven't eaten in like 12 hours and I felt great. I felt great. Yeah. So the thing you need to do is like eat stuff the way you find it in nature in the proportions that you find in nature. So I just put some green stuff in here. The general rule is half green, half fruit. Half so, green, half fruit. Um, so half green where you, where you get your, your chlorophyll, which you need, and then your fruit, which is your, you know, your sweet stuff, which makes it taste good. So we, any, just make your own mixture. Like here, get a bunch of berries. So mm -hmm. get some berries, put them in there. Or some orange juice um, in there. Some orange juice. Well, I, already, or, I already juiced some orange juice. Oh, so great. you need some kind of liquid base. So you put your orange juice in there. Dates. Dates are really good. A couple of dates, and you've got your sweet, your you know, your sugar boost. And you um, reverse the aging process, you say, as you did, and you'll notice a difference in your hair, your skin, as you well will. as the inside. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, you know, if you look at animals in nature, they don't lose their hair. Their hair doesn't go gray. Um, we're the only species. What we call aging is not normal. It's a sign that something's not right. And that's why I created my book, Heal Your Face. It's, it's this is unbelievable. For more information, you can pick up the book as well. GoRawNow.com for more information. And check out the 34th Annual Total Health Show taking place all weekend long. That's at the Metro Toronto Convention Center. TotalHealthShow.com or BreakfastTelevision.ca. Heal Your Face. There's the cover if you need to pick it up. And I'm going to sample your raw food beverage right after this. Thank you so much for being here, Marcus. Right now, we're taking a quick break. And I'm going to drink up during the break. Thank you. This looks awesome. Go for it. Power up. Yeah.